You know the thing about Halloween ends? It's a conclusion made by Universal, right? Well, this movie makes Jurassic World Dominion look like a masterpiece in comparison. You know, since I did a, a review on, I think I did a review on the original Halloween. I know I did a review, I did, I did reviews for Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills last year. So I might as well do a review on this movie right now. So I can just get this over with and just share you all my thoughts on it. Although I think you can tell what my thoughts are already uh, because of the skit and how I, and how I act. Hey guys, it's Zero's Entertainment Crip here, and welcome back to another movie review. This time it is going to be on Halloween Ends. It's not only the conclusion to the um, the Blumhouse's Halloween trilogy, but it's also the the conclu the conclusion to all to the Halloween franchise. You know, you know, it's supposed to finish off all the films. You know, supposed to end up all the films in general. All, I mean, like all the films in the franchise. You know what I mean. So basically, Halloween Ends is about, you know, okay, in the trip, uh, okay, you know, this movie was supposed to be a concept about, you know, all the town people, including Laurie Strode, um, you know, trying to defeat Michael Myers once and for all, right? Like Halloween Kills, the last movie. No. Instead, the story is about this new character. About um, okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna spoil it. I, this 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 review is gonna contain spoilers. If you do not want to want, if you do not want to hear spoilers, and so then don't watch this video. But yeah, I'm just gonna. Just gonna spoil this movie, cause pff, pff, I'm just gonna give out spoilers in this video. Okay, so this the story to this movie is about this new character called Curry. Yeah, this new male character. I, I forgot his name already. <laughs> so this a uh, guy called Corey Cunningham. Um, Okay, so this movie takes place after the events of Halloween Ends. So, yeah, this movie is about this new character called Curry Cunningham, who has a past about, you know, he has a past about, you know, him becoming a babysitter for one of the, for a kid in this movie named Jeremy. Uh, I forgot his other, uh, his la uh, his surname, but yeah, he, he babysits him. Um, the kid doesn't treat him with respect and he locks him um upstairs upstairs in the in the attic i think i think that's what it's, uh, i think he locked him in the attic and uh so basically he acts when he tries to get uh, get out from being locked uh he he when he just kicks out the door just to bust out he accident it accidentally he accidentally hits the kid which then he falls down the stairs and dies then people and then from then on people were just treating him like absolute crap then i think a few months later he uh, i don't know he he son he suddenly meets uh, laurie strode and her and her granddaughter um if you've seen halloween kills then you know then that uh 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 laurie's uh, daughter actually died so she only has a granddaughter and from then on, it's about, I guess, you know, Corey dealing with a lot and, uh, you know, they, um, he goes on a date with Laurie Strode's granddaughter, which may, which, uh, from the, from there, he 
Laurie Strode can see Michael Myers, uh, uh, Michael Myers in in his eyes. I think Laurie Strode, and then and then in the middle of the movie, Corey Cunningham teams up with Michael My Myers with absolutely no interesting motivations. Okay. Okay. I just Okay, yes, I could have seen a different movie instead, but because this movie is also available for streaming and you can also watch this movie on HD online. But, you know, my uncle wanted to watch this movie since he is a fan of the Halloween franchise and he's liked every single one of the movies. Uh he even told me he liked the, the Rob Zombie movies. He considered those a guilt those guilty pleasures. Uh, I think he also liked Resurrection, Curse, and Return of Michael Myers, even though I heard those movies are bad, but... Uh, that's not the point. But, he, he, yeah, I, I could have seen, like, Shin Ultraman or Amsterdam, even though I heard Amsterdam was pretty ter terrible as well. Uh, I just decided... I just went to see this movie, took a one- to two-hour drive to... My uncle took me to a one two hour drive to get into a different theater. Uh, but let me just get into my thoughts on the movie. Okay, I hated this movie. I hated this movie. I used to like Halloween Kills. and But then like days later that movie, that movie grew less on me and I kind, and I don't think it's that good anymore. But this movie was worse than Halloween Kills. <sighs> okay, what what my what my biggest issue with this movie is it doesn't know how to conclude the franchise with this movie. Uh, they they don't know how uh, how to think of a good good and proper story for this conclusion. Okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, by a you know, when I explain the plot, you think that Michael Myers is going to be in the mo movie, right? Well, guess what? He wasn't in the movie that much. He has very little screen time. He has very little screen time. We don't even see him that that much. I don't really count the flashbacks that were in the movie. And besides, there weren't... The flashbacks were just like three to five minutes, I think. Uh, pro uh, probably even shorter. <sighs> The movie just mostly focuses on Kurt Corey Cunningham, and and then later in the movie he he becomes uh, he becomes a villain for again no re uh, for for no interesting uh, reason. He doesn't really have any mo. I don't really see much motivation why he w wants to become a villain and team up with Michael Myers. And even when he does team up with Michael Myers, we still don't see him that much. We st we mostly see Kurt Corey. Cunningham do the killing. Michael Myers doesn't do much of the kill killing, like ser seriously, in this movie. Okay, in the beginning scene, um, was the backstory of Corey Cunningham, you know, with uh, him accidentally killing the kid. And, you know, you thought that Michael Myers was gonna be in the, the, the scene, right? And Corey Cunningham or the kid was gonna get killed? But n no. Again, like I explained, the kid tricks him, and then he accidentally bash, and then he bash in the door, which he accidentally kills the kid from the top of the stairs. Oh, that 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 prologue, that the beginning scene was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, uh, and the story too. Again, this movie doesn't know how to find a proper story for for this uh, conclu conclusion. Like, really, I did, and with the romance uh, with him, with his romance with uh, Laurie Strode's granddaughter and it, uh, him going through shit, his, his character development, I don't care about his character. I don't care about his romance with Laurie Strode's uh, grand, uh, granddaughter. I don't care about his character at all. All I wanted to see with the movie, I came to the movie, I came to see this movie I came here to see Michael Myers killing people, you know, this movie building suspense and people are trying to wonder what, 
uh, what's what's making noises and stuff stuff like that. And Michael Myers is slowly building up suspense, um, slowly you know tr trying to kill people, and that the suspense builds up from there. It, that doesn't happen in the movie. That doesn't really happen that much in the movie. Corey Cunningham gets to do most of the killing throughout this movie. And again, I don't care about his char character at all. I don't care. I most, again, I, ca I came to see this movie for Michael Myers. And again, he wasn't in the movie that much. I, I was in my seat saying, oh, I don't care about this character. I don't care what's happening right now. Just show me Michael Myers. I, I came, I came here to see Michael Myers, not boring characters, not it, not not boring character inter interaction. That's the thing about another thing about this movie is it's about it's mostly about mo it's mostly about the characters treating each other like crap and being like assholes to each other. <sighs> no, and even so. And another thing about this movie is the movie is not scare uh, scary like literally even with the character Corey Cunningham he's not a he's not a terrifying character I'm not scared of him like literally I don't care about his character I think he's terrible um his his acting <laughs> I I I don't give a shit I don't give a shit about that uh, his character and his acting is uh underdone. <laughs> So I, I okay okay maybe I gone too far with his act I guess his acting was fine for the most part but I just I'm just saying I don't care about his char character I never wanted to see his character I mean I guess he would be I think his character would be better off in his own individual movie not in a Halloween movie in a Halloween movie I came to see Michael Myers Laurie Strode and the the granddaughter getting hunted and all the people getting hunted by Michael Myers. Not people getting hunted by a different serial ki killer the, or a different boogeyman. Ugh. What's with what's with this movie, honestly? Uh, and yeah, and and during like the end of the movie, like the near end of the movie, that you know, um. So basically, there was a fight scene between, um, there was a, like a fight or a battle scene between uh, Laurie Strode and uh, Curry Cunningham. And then, you know, he, Curry C Cunningham notices that the granddaughter is, is coming home and then he, you know, tries to, I guess, he just tries to make it look like the grand, that Laurie Strode killed his character with a knife and you know that makes his granddaughter that makes the granddaughter pissed off at her because the granddaughter thinks that he's the he's the only person in the world that he can trust and then and then later in the movie they didn't they didn't it wasn't solved after that uh, her, um, about her getting angry at Laurie like what the hell Ugh. And I guess the battle scene, the final battle scene between uh, battle scene about Michael Myers and uh, Laurie Stroh was actually kind of decent. I think that it's um, kind of decent actually. And I do also find some of the kills being pretty decent. I mean, it's not again, it's not scary, but I I kind of find find uh, the scenes where the characters do get killed kind of decent. Uh, I mean, they were kind of fun, uh, uh, but uh, but again, they weren't scary or anything. But overall, uh, Halloween Ends is a terrible conclusion to um, the Halloween franchise and Blumhouse's uh, Halloween trilogy. You know, the only good, the only good uh, movie of Blum out of Blumhouse's Halloween trilogy was the fir first one from twenty eighteen. Halloween Kills didn't like this movie. Didn't like as well. Uh, the the nineteen seventy the seventies uh, the original nineteen seventies movie I I loved. Uh, I haven't seen the other movies. Not even, not even the Rob Zombie movies. I, I don't think I want to watch those. No, the I know the first one, the the first Rob Rob Zombie, uh, Halloween movies on Netflix. But again, I don't want to watch it. Uh, but yeah, uh, but overall, I I think Halloween ends is a terrible conclusion. 
you know, I I didn't like, I wasn't a fan of Jurassic World Dominion, honestly. I, I, I mean, I didn't hate it, but I will admit, the more I think about that movie, the more it gets worse. But then after I saw this movie, that, you know, that, again, I, you know, I'd rather watch Jurassic World Dominion than this, uh, than Halloween Ends. And, yeah, ha Halloween Ends is way worse than Jurassic World Dominion. Ugh. So, overall, I'm, again, Halloween Ends was, Halloween Ends was such a terrible conclusion to the Halloween franchise, and, ugh. <sighs> but, um, you know, aside from the movie, you know, despite the movie that the mo that the movie sucks, um, at least I did had a good trip, uh, going to the cinemas. Um, you know, my me and my un uh, uncle had some fun, and we did get some food and stuff like that, and we did uh, explore some stuff before uh, some places before we went to see the movie. So. I guess that was kind of cool, kind of kind of cool, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.